Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Nice to see you again. Today I want to talk about my discus again. So this is my discus tank. And every time I make a video about my discus tank, there gets a little bit of a conversation going where people are saying, oh yeah, I'd love to keep discus one day, but oh my God, there's so much hard work or they're so delicate or there's always a reason why you don't want to keep discus because of X. And I wanted to talk about some of those myths and maybe debunk some of them. So I think the biggest misconception about them is that they're the snowflakes of the aquarium world. They're just little fairies. They're so delicate that they can't have any tolerance to any differences in your aquarium. But it's just not true. They're cichlids. They're as hardy as many other cichlids. They love to have a bit of a scrap and a bit of a fight. They can deal with all manner of changing uh, environments within the aquarium itself. I mean, if you look over the years, I've kept these fish for years and years and years and over the years I've made every mistake you could possibly think of uh, and the discus have survived throughout. Now obviously that doesn't mean that just because they are hardier than you think they are that you can get away with bad treatment but don't let it put you off what I'm saying. Um, I've had discus where the heater is broken or um, I've left the fill line running too long in my fish room and the temperature's dropped way, way down. I've had pH swings, spikes, ammonia spikes. None of that has adversely affected the fish any more than it would any other fish. So I just don't think it's, it's not true. They're, they are as hardy as any other cichlid, I think. Another thing that's often mentioned is that you have to do daily water changes with discus. Um, that you have to have some kind of water purification plant running in your house to be able to keep up with what's going on. And again, in my experience, it's just not true. Now, any fish will thank you for doing more water changes than you have to, and discus fish certainly will thank you a little bit more. And when I say thank, I mean you get better results from them. So if you're trying to grow a show fish, you absolutely have to change water every day. Um, if you're trying to get the biggest discus that's ever been seen, you have to be piling the food in, you have to be piling in the water changes, you have to do 100% water changes every day. But how many people want to keep a show fish? How many people want to show fish? It's just not that common in my experience. So while you might not grow a 9 or 10 inch discus if you don't do daily water changes, are you really that bothered? Or are you happy with a 6 or 7 inch discus? And this goes back to some of the advice that I've done in my many discus videos is if you buy your fish a little bit older, you don't have to worry as much about water changes because the water changes have the biggest effect when those fish are young or they're juveniles and they're growing. And that's why juvenile fish are a lot more inexpensive than the adult counterparts because the adults are a lot more tolerant. They have done most of their growing. Um, you're not going to stunt an adult fish because it's already done the majority of its growing. Feeding, that's another one. People will say often, you can only get away with the highest quality, premium, expensive foods. And um, that's the only thing your discus will eat. And that's just not true. It's just a load of nonsense. Um, I've used all kinds of high quality, premium branded food over the years. And they will turn their nose up at that just as much as they'll turn their nose up at anything else. And then conversely, chuck in some cheap old flake and they'll go wild for it. You just, you can't win. Again, it comes back to that the whole thing about are you trying to grow a show fish or are you trying to have a fish that you enjoy keeping yes if you feed a really high quality food that is the best and you will get slightly better coloration you will get slightly better growth rates but for that extra five percent that you're going for with a show fish does it really matter whether you spend all that extra money i feed some high quality foods but i feed those high quality foods because i want them be as good as they can be and I can afford it. They will be happy with some of the lower quality foods. A lot of the foods that I sell on my website, a lot of them are flaked. These guys love the krill flake. They love the tropical flakes. The new one that I've just put up about the insect based flake. Go wild for it. That's a relatively cheap and inexpensive food and they love it. They do also love their beef heart. They do also love their um, frozen brine shrimp. They do also love their hakari stuff. So yes, they will eat whatever you want them to eat. It's about what you think is the best for your fish. And it doesn't always have to be the most expensive thing. Another one I see a lot is that you need to keep your discus in a bare bottom tank or you need to keep them alone uh, because they can't tolerate other fish or they can't tolerate a rich planted aquarium. The key to that is compatibility. Uh, why people struggle with plants in discus aquariums is not the fish, it's because discus aquariums tend to be warmer than normal and a lot of the plants won't tolerate the heat. 
why you need to be careful with the fish is, is again, compatibility. You want a fish that the discus isn't going to eat because they're not a little fairy snowflake swimming around serenely all the time. They are cichlids and they will go hunting. If it can fit in their mouth, they will eat it. Um, but again, you need to find other fish that are tolerant of the heat. It's not rocket science, folks. So to sum up, I think if you are an experienced fish keeper and you're used to keeping fish anyway, you're not really going to struggle with keeping discus. And I think they're more one of the more rewarding types of fish to keep just because they are so beautiful. They are really vivid, striking colours. Um, you can create a lovely thing like this in your house. You just need to give it the same attention you would give any other fish. An appropriately sized aquarium, appropriate conditions and heat, clean water. Every fish likes clean water. If you skip a couple of water changes, it won't matter. If you can throw in a few more extra, it will make a little bit of a difference. It'd be great. But other than that, it's like I say, it's not rocket science. It's just normal fish keeping, good husbandry. You'll do well. Um, so I just thought I'd have a little bit of a myth busting video. So let me know in the comments if you've thought of any other myths that you need to think need to be exposed in the hobby. Even if it's not discus, have you seen any for other fish around um, that you always see flying around on the internet and think, why do people keep perpetuating that? Um, really, it's just a chance to show off my fish. Anyway, see you in the next one. Bye.